But first, school board member Marta Perez loves the old school charm and abuela approved Cuban recipes served up at her go-to spot for huge portions of comfort food at a great price. Locals and tourists alike congregate at the South Florida institution, which has been serving up authentic family recipes since 1977. It's in Miami and it's called Isla Canarias. My name is Eileen Andrade, and I'm third generation owner of Islas Canarias. So Islas Canarias is, we serve traditional Cuban fare, you know, no frills, uh, traditional Cuban food, traditional Spanish food. All of our recipes have been handed down from my grandfather. Um, you come here, you bring your family, you're gonna get a really good, wholesome meal. Um, the service is quick. Um, I'd say we serve the best croquetas. Um, which we serve at all the other restaurants, but this is more just sticking to tradition. We just renovated a couple years ago. Um, we wanted to give it like a light, old school, uh, Cuban, you know, 1950s vibe. Um, we have a, a beautiful mural where it depicts um, a lot of Latin singers, not only Cuban, but Puerto Rican as well, and um, Dominicans. Islas Canarias is tradition, family, and value. Wow. Um, <laughs> I just, I have to hear what you have. I have to hear, you know, how long you've been going. It's been around for 45 years, and it's known for its croquetas that people drive all the way out croqueta west. Croqueta Nation. Cro croqueta Nation, yeah, right? It, yeah, it's been yeah, written yeah. up about, and I went for breakfast. The breakfast is fast, and a lot of local people. I, I really like to uh, go by and, and enjoy. It's, it's a great uh, restaurant for that community and for tourists as well. They're really wonderful. In fact, I took Anthony Bourdain there. <laughs> Um, a few years ago oh. when he did a show on Miami because uh -huh. I thought it was that important. So tell me a little bit about your breakfast that you have. Uh, you know, I'm always counting calories. So they have a vegetarian omelet, very good, delicious. They but all the breakfasts are completa, so they all come with... Come with uh, fries or whatever you want. I, I don't eat gluten. Okay. So, uh, you know, I don't eat the bread, but I which went with... Which is really hard not to which because is hard it not to, but I went, and delicious. But I went with someone and they had the abuela omelet which uh, has uh, sausages and plantains and it was quite delicious. He also ordered a mame milkshake that is you know you know staple in a, his, in a Cuban restaurant. But also sticks to your ribs. <laughs> Very good. Dennis have you been? I have. And what did you think? What I did do you not have about? a vegetarian omelet. I, <laughs> I must bet say. you didn't. For me it's always about the croquetas <laughs> and uh, there's no list of any kind anywhere in the world that doesn't have Isla Canarias on their list for croquetas. So uh, I always get jamón. Uh, I love uh, that they serve them with a little wedge of lime yeah, too. Yeah. Wendy, you had croquetas as well, yes, right? Yes, I had the pollo. Oh, you had the, the chicken. chicken. That's the best. And I put the lime on it and I bit into it. It was full, it was moist, it wasn't overcooked. It was perfect. And I've, I've been there before just to get the croquetas. Really? Wow. Yeah. All right, so what else did you have that day? One of my favorites is oxtails. And they have oxtails there like you've never seen. And of course, you can try to eat them daintily, you know, knife and fork. So they come carefully. on the bone? Yes. You pick them up? Yeah, eventually you got to pick them up and just kind of go after them. And they were, they were delicious. <laughs> Wendy, what else did you have other than the chicken croqueta? I ordered the ropa vieja and the person I was with ordered the vaca frita. I ended up eating his vaca frita. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell everybody what vaca frita is? I guess the translation is fried beef. Cow, cow actually. Fried but cow. The true definition, but nobody and wants to call it The definition of ropa vieja <laughs> is what? Beef. Dirty clothes? <laughs> yes. Yes. So <laughs> they're fact, both not translating very well. Not so much. I have to say I like the vaca frita better than I like the ropa vieja. It was very moist. The onions were good. The rice was good. I'm a rice person. I will eat rice over anything. The rice was nice and moist. had a good flavor. The beans were good. It was really, it was really, really nice. So, Marta, you want to talk a little bit about the service there? Right away, she was there to take our uh, order, and everything was uh, it was perfect. That's wonderful. They work so hard. They have so much hustle there. They're really there to make sure you have a good time. 
should we even mention prices? I mean, <laughs> if you owe somebody a big meal and you're bringing a lot of people, this is the place uh, to go. Yeah. I mean, the prices yeah. are really extraordinarily low. Yeah, the portions are very large. Yeah, we had a lot of leftovers. Yeah, a lot. That. They also had their own juices. They bottle they and do. squeeze their own juices. So we had the orange juice and we had the watermelon. Oh, and it was fun. really fresh. It was really, really good. The list of batidos, which are the shakes, the milkshakes, and the juices is quite extensive. Mm -hmm. Who had dessert? Well, tres leches, mm -hmm. as always. Mm -hmm. But between the question. cream on top and then the kind of custardy part and then the sauce, and how, and how much the cake part absorbs the yeah, sauce. Yeah. It's a, mm. just a happy moment. That's all yeah. I can say. <laughs> Lovely. Well, Marta, Islas Canarias was your choice. Sum it up for us, please. It's a great family-owned restaurant, has been around 45 years, great service, great food, a delight. Uh, parking should not be a problem. Dennis, you want to sum it up for me? For me, it's a Miami legend. I've been here as long as the restaurant has, and it is an incredible place to go to taste authentic Cuban food. Uh, served by an incredibly great staff, and uh, it's a family business. You can't beat that. Wendy? You want to have a good croqueta, a good coffee. You know, it's a, it's a great place to go try authentic Cuban food. He didn't even talk about the café con leche. Well, you can get a taste of Cuban history at Isla Canarias Restaurant and Bar, located at 13695 Southwest 26th Street in Miami, with an additional location near Kendall. Open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Reservations aren't accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $30.